President Obama, meet Geraldine Nelson, a three-time loser in the refinancing game. Three times she fell victim to unscrupulous mortgage brokers. As a result, her mortgage today is nearly double the $89,000 she borrowed to buy her home in 2000 when she was still employed. Collection agent calls are a constant irritant. Sell it. If you can't afford it, sell it. Where are you going to go? I have nowhere to go. What am I going to do, move my things on the street? To pay her monthly mortgage requires 97% of her income, virtually all of which comes from Social Security. So Geraldine has been unable to make payments for months, and the foreclosure moratorium Chase Bank granted Geraldine has now expired. It is stressful. I have cried so many times, you don't know. Nobody would know how many times I've cried. On March 24th, Geraldine's lender sent her a letter saying she might be eligible for the president's new Making Home Affordable program. Three weeks later, the bank sent a letter saying it was beginning foreclosure proceedings immediately. Her Bridgeport, Connecticut neighborhood is littered with homes that have already been foreclosed. To prevent Geraldine from being the next victim, her housing counselor, Julissa Soto of Acorn Housing, is asking Chase to make big concessions. Drop Geraldine's interest rate by nearly 6%, down to 2%, extend the term by 10 years to 40 years, and chop $30,000 off the principal. Even then, Geraldine's mortgage would still be too much debt for her to qualify under the Obama criteria for a loan modification. Chase would have to make an exception. Honestly, it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. Chase won't speak to Geraldine's case, citing reasons of privacy. But the bank says we continue to modify thousands of mortgages each week to help families stay in their homes. But unfortunately, there are some borrowers who do not qualify for the modification programs. President Obama says his plan will help millions of Americans facing foreclosure, but millions more may get nothing. This plan cannot help every single homeowner that's, uh, that's in trouble. Geraldine bought more house than she could afford, and like many Americans, she let herself be put into bad loans time and again. The president will be spending billions of taxpayer dollars to try to prevent foreclosures, but that money can accomplish only so much. Some of the most vulnerable Americans are still likely to lose their homes. For CNNMoney.com, I'm Alan Chernoff.